Folks across the Wabash Valley are ringing in the new year. Over in southern Illinois, families are celebrating a fun and unique way. New for you at 10, News 10 Bureau Chief Nathan Springfield gives us an inside look at the big celebrations. From going out for dinner and drinks with friends, to sitting at home and watching the ball drop in the Big Apple, there is a number of ways people welcomed in the new year. Here at home, families decided to do things just a little different. They spent the evening running down dimly lit halls and ducking in and out of dark rooms. So what exactly were they doing? They were battling each other in a game of laser tag. People I spoke with say an activity like laser tag here is a fun way to get out of the house and celebrate the new year as a family. When family comes down, we try to do something a little different each time. We've bowled, we've done all the other stuff. So this was something a little different for everybody and, and age appropriate for everybody. We all have from oldest to youngest, we could all have, you know, have fun. Despite grandkids facing off against their grandparents during some games, it's obvious the Monroe family had a blast. James Bingston is the owner of Battle Zone Laser Tag. He decided to open his business on New Year's to give the entire community another way to celebrate the new year. New Year's Eve seems to be a time where there's a lot of, you know, bars, a lot of party, mud drinking, stuff like that. It seems to be like the tradition. So, like I, said, so I wanted to kind of veer away from that and give people a chance to do stuff that they can do with their family. Bring them to, you know, something in a healthy environment and actually do, you know, something as a family together. Other families in the area seem to agree that some New Year's Eve laser tag together was a great idea. Pinkston said several games were booked by new customers, too. The Monroe family said they'll definitely consider spending another New Year's Eve laser tagging together. And in case you were wondering who the laser tag champion of the family was... Me yeah. I had the most kills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 probably did. Yeah, probably did the best overall. Reporting in Lawrenceville and wishing you a happy new year. Come on, guys. Go, go. Nathan Springfield, News 10.